Right, so today we're going to be doing um, a bicolor image. Show you how to do a bicolor image in Astro Art. Um, and what we do is to sort of make it a bit clearer. If you, I've actually done on the second of the tenth. You can see all my fits files. Uh, I've done say M1 in H alpha and in O3 and on the 8th and 9th I've done also H alpha and O3 so it's two separate dates so what you'll see is me loading uh, with pre-processing uh, and look for 7th of the 10th which is when it was and what I do is I scroll down Look for M1. So you hit the shift and move with the key and just drag over the H alpha and M1. Obviously, avoid the O3 at the moment. <coughs> As you can see, it's loading it in the images. Uh, so that's uh, that one. And then on the second day, which was the 8th and the 9th. Again, M1 in H alpha. As you can see, there's quite a bit more. Just make sure there's none in there. So, and then all I do is I go to options, keep it median like a normal, normalized background, alignment, auto align, star pattern, translation, and rotation. OK it. Keep these all the same. I haven't taken any darks again because the camera has very little noise. Hit OK. And there's 18 frames. And there's uh, Crab Nebula. Uh, if I click on View and Histogram, I'm just going to move that slider slightly to sort of make it a little bit less noisy. Like so. So that's a H Alpha image taken over two separate nights. Then what I do is I go click on tools again, click on pre-processing, go back to files, and then I right click and delete all of these images out of here because I want to get rid of all the HR for images. Uh, you can stay on this 8th for the 9th and scroll down and look for your 03. Click on shift and go to the bottom and click with your mouse move them across go to my pictures go to 2nd of the 10th which is the other part of the, the dates scroll down for 03 or for M1 <coughs> yeah there there there's 3 there put them in scroll see if there's any more again shift and use your cursor and your mouse. So that's that. And it's exactly the same process again. I go to options. It's already on star pattern rotate and everything's just the same because we haven't shut the software. Click OK. And this time it's 15. So again this is in same again. Click on histogram. I tend to reduce it a little bit to sort of you know get make this a lot more smoother and not so overexposed. So, uh, get rid of that, and then what you do is O1 is as you can see here, uh, O1 is O3, and O0 is H alpha. So, I click on color, click on trichomy. So, red will be O0, green will be O1 and blue will be O1 maximize this they're out of alignment because they're taken on separate dates um, just click on auto alignment it should do it click on white balance and click on order or whatever you wish uh, I tend to uh, mess around with these a little bit to sort of don't really touch the green on the bicolor colour because it, it tends to sort of wash it out a bit too much 
bring out a bit more red if you look down over here you can see it changing but you don't go too much and and there's the blue one something like that then you can click OK and there it is a bicolor image of the crab uh, Again, stars are ever so slightly eggy, so like I, you may remember, I did this before. You can click on find stars, make a number up. I don't know, 400. Click OK. Uh, click on this little icon here, which is like a zoom. Right click, lock 3D zoom. Go to files, go to cosmetic compress stars and if you look here at this star gives it much better star shape if you look at this one here if you toggle on and off you could adjust it obviously as you wish if you look here you'll see it rotating hit ok close that there's your image and just like before you can hit file you can save it as JPEG if you want to upload it online just reduce your compression and then locate where you want name it and save and the same will go if you want to save it as FITS 1632 bit and FITS file name it save it wherever you want to go and that's how you do very basic bicolor images on H-Alpha and O-3.